Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about a Zabbix 6.0 LTS release roadmap and basically all the goodies that we can expect in this new long-term support release, which again is planned to be released as we can see in the Q4 of this year, 2021, but to be more precise, we can probably expect, expect it somewhere around um, October-ish plus minus a couple of weeks. Um, what we'll be doing is basically just talking about all of these goodies and how I see them and uh, what issues they will potentially solve. So first of all, the roadmap itself is absolutely public. It's not a big secret. You can always go to thisavix.com and uh, just to the product section, there is a roadmap where you can see not only the next release, which is 6.0, but also a lot more ahead in the future, like 6.2, 6.4 and 7.0 LTS. Right, so starting with the first things, which is event correlation and enterprise alarm console, which what it will do basically give the ability to perform event filtering, deduplication and aggregation using event pre-processing rules, plus ability to manually hide and suspend the problems for a period of time. So here we don't have any more information like we do in some other features like the features requests where we could potentially read something um, that is mentioned by developers or let's say understand the context of this new feature better but how i see this like for those who are using this abex already if you're monitoring either log files or snmp traps or um, windows event log you probably know that sometimes especially when you want to get notified on multiple problems from one single um, data source maybe the log file in this case it is very complicated to find out some sort of recovery expression and usually what we will end up doing simply have the trigger config specified to generate generate uh, multiple problems and what it ends up we just have hundreds of thousands of problem events from one single trigger and we don't have any clean way how we can actually close these problems so in the end after a couple of months or, or even years, we could have a millions of entries in the events table about the problems for the trigger um, event source. And we basically don't need this information, but what it does, it just uh, piles up the events table, the problems table in our Zabbix database, which of course also slows down the performance of the Zabbix frontend and also the Zabbix server itself. And like previously before, the upcoming release of 6.0, we did not have any clean way how we can close these problems. We could do a little bit of uh, tricks with existing event correlation functionality, but basically it was not enough. Uh, we could write uh, some sort of API script that would check what kind of events and active problems we have opened for a particular trigger uh, and then close them if those are older than some X amount of the time. Or we could just manually delete from the database everything that's again older than some amount of the time. But that's not like out of the box native functionality. So how I see this that from 6.0, we will have these uh, additional options and additional conditions, how we can avoid these cases when one single trigger with a multiple problem event generation is spamming our database and causing these performance issues. Even if we don't have like clean recovery expression. So let's say in our log file, we would see that, um, Microsoft SQL stopped, Microsoft SQL started. In this case, we can create a problem and a recovery. Uh, if we don't have this case, so this new feature uh, with the new event correlation and enterprise alarm console should definitely fix our problems. And not only those ones, so we should not have any duplicate events unwanted events in our database that potentially are also harming the performance of our instance. Business service monitoring, which is uh, basically a new IT services that we'll have in a Zabbix with a Zabbix 6.0. So IT services, those were here since uh, 2. Dot something probably, um, where you can configure your IT service slash SLA monitoring and calculations, which is uh, fairly simple, where you just create a service, you name it, and you assign a trigger to the service when the trigger is in a problem state, your SLA drops, when the trigger is in OK state, 
everything is fine. But uh, functionality and usability of ID services um, are not up to date with the current uh, features and the current sizings of the Zabbix. So as long as you have uh, many new um, IT services, many new services that you want to monitor with a lot of triggers and those are cross-dependent with each other. So you want to add some conditions, some calculations, where ex when exactly do you want this uh, service is late to drop, it was basically not possible. And what we can see with the current upcoming changes that we will make the Zabbix scale to 100,000 business services, currently it would uh, first of all i doubt it would be possible performance wise on the second hand it would definitely not be user friendly to manage 100,000 services in the current um in the current front and how it looks like support of alerting on the service status changes uh tag based mapping between the problem events and the services so tags which is um another place where the tags are introduced inside as abex so this first of all started on the triggers then uh, on the events problems uh, currently we have those also on the host so tags are coming inside as abex in all the possible ways and also support of complex service status calculation and propagation rules like previously it was uh, pretty dull like uh, only if the trigger is uh, in a problem state if at least one trigger is in a problem state or all triggers are in a problem then sla is dropping so in a 6.0 most likely we will have um, additional ways how we can perform this calculation support of multi-tenancy for the services and we have also the zabbix uh, feature request assigned to this and as we can see we are using a zabbix in a multi-tenant environment and would love ability to have IT service tied to the user group uh, for multi-tenancy. So again, previously, if you create some sort of IT services, no matter what hosts or host groups you're monitoring, if user is an admin, because all the configuration is done in the configuration section, the front end, then he will have all the ability uh, to see everything that you have configured in IT services. So again, with this feature, it will uh, support multi-tenancy. So you will most likely be able to delegate some sort of permissions uh, for user groups. Let's say this user group has a view or read and write permissions to these services, this user group to something else. New widgets for service tree and Soleil reporting. So since we're doing some more features and more functionality that you can configure uh, to have a proper business service monitoring, it also lacks some sort of visualization. So since in the recent releases of the Zabbix, basically most of visualization is uh, around the dashboards and around the widgets. So there will also be a new uh, service tree and SLA reporting with the widgets inside the dashboard. So instead of just monitoring IT services, you will be able to create the dashboards that will represent all the SLA that you currently want to be aware of. Root cause analysis. So what exactly is the root cause of the problem, right? It's a lot better than just seeing that this service is down. We most likely want to see why exactly? Is it because this network device is down or is it because there is no internet connection or maybe some sort of service is down? So we will have a chance to see that. Impact analysis, again, well, pretty close to the root cause analysis, like uh, we will have a chance to know uh, how big is the impact from this uh, failure that is currently happening. Import export for service tree, again, very user friendly feature, like uh, in existing releases, if you have something really big developed across of uh, multiple mm -hmm. I don't know, months or years of the versions, there is sadly no simple way how to export or import this in the new installation. So most likely that this will be another place where we will see the export import button that we can use and a new graphical visualization of the service tree so basically um, design of the web page how the services how the service tree is being created and maintained so 
this one hold the business service monitoring bsm feature will definitely be a big one especially if you are like into sla monitoring and maybe uh, before 6.0 you were not doing that inside a zabbix simply because of some sort of missing functionality for you so all of this chunk of new features most likely will satisfy your needs and you can definitely start your sla monitoring in a zabbix 6.0 next one machine learning for baseline monitoring so in design new algorithms for data processing to allow automatic problem and anomaly detection based on analysis of the historical data this might seem like not very big but actually it is big especially for uh, for the people that are just starting to go inside a monitoring and trying to understand how everything works it might sound surprising but pretty often uh, beginners inside of monitoring and not only inside a Zabbix day um, not only they don't know what exactly they want to monitor the second thing is they really don't know what should the thresholds be right they want to monitor some sort of uh, CPU utilization or uh, memory on the server but they don't they don't know the thresholds like is 50% busy good or bad do you do I want to be notified about it so this uh, baseline monitoring will um, resolve all these problems for the newcomers inside of monitoring and how I see that it's gonna work so basically uh, we are analyzing the historical data if we see that for let's say last year of uh, the data last year of the monitoring our CPU utilization was uh, jumping between like 10 till 30 percent and then suddenly tomorrow or after a week this CPU jumps to 60 percent so we automatically see that based on the history period this is twice big um twice big data twice big metric than it was before which definitely is uh, not usual and should notify um at least with some low severity for somebody to check this out right so we will not have to figure out what sort of threshold should i put here like should it be 70 or 80 and somebody maybe will uh, specify it like 95 percent and think that it's good but actually in a real life when uh, the numbers are reaching like 60 percent already some other services start to suffer so this one again will simplify the maintenance simplify creation of the triggers you will not have to figure the thresholds everything will happen automatically out of the box high availability performance and scalability so ha was uh, an ongoing question and thing that uh, was very close to the Zabbix and not like not like it was not supported previously but it was definitely not a native feature not something that you can just add a checkbox in the front and that yes I want to have high availability most of the configuration was done either with uh, keep alive D to keep it simple or with a PC PCS uh, car sync and uh, any other native Linux high availability utilities. So right now with Azabix 6.0, which is already in development, so those are not just uh, some sort of the promises, it's already being uh, developed by the Zabbix developers, we will have a native high availability setup for the Zabbix server. We will have also ability for the proxies to provide automatic load balancing and high availability. Again, especially if you're doing some distributed monitoring and all of yours um, agents and network devices are going through one single proxy it, it is again just one single uh, point of failure and uh, with this new feature you will have ability to load balance this traffic so if something will happen uh, with uh, one of the single proxies the traffic could automatically be balanced to another proxy so there are no data loss and uh, Zabbix server is also working in HA this does not change the fact that a Zabbix supports only active passive so no load balancing for the Zabbix server yet at least not in the 6.0 but this is definitely a big improvement for um, again not 
not exceptionally skilled guys who are working with a high availability solutions like daily for those who want to have some simple setup just add a couple of options native options in the front end or in the configuration in the configuration files and have this high availability up and running api performance improvements to speed up operations with 1 million of devices so this basically looks like a dependency for the proxy load balancing so imagine if we have thousands of the host monitored by proxy a and then something happens and we need to switch all of these hosts from proxy a to proxy b so we want to happen this fast we don't want to lose the data uh, that we're monitoring simply because the switch out between the proxies is going slow and again we have the feature requests which we can check uh, so improve performance of template linkage on the Zabbix server which is sometimes happening really slow especially if we're linking the template to a lot of the hosts and the second one is audit log bulk operations performance improvements so again another performance regression that was uh, previously is going to be fixed in the Zabbix 6.0 and the last one here is the scalable history storage and as we can see support of new time series storage engine I'm not sure that we can uh, we see the time scale database and um, yeah I'm like not sure if we have already published a sound influx DB uh, and a lot of other improvements so probably we don't know yet uh, which time series database those will be but uh, as we can see there will be support of the time series storage engines most likely for the history storage uh, only not for the configuration data out of the box monitoring and alerting so this is the block which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger with each uh, Zabbix release basically what is happening uh, more and more things are being um, supported to monitor out of the box without any customizations without writing any custom scripts or doing integration with some other um, utilities or whatever else so what we can expect in the 6.0 is finally the monitoring of Kubernetes clusters in a native way without any like yeah you can do that but then you have to use like Prometheus and then you can integrate Prometheus with Zabbix so still there were a lot of limitations and right now what we can expect in the 6.0 official native way how you can monitor your Kubernetes clusters monitoring of SSL certificate uh, expiration data so is your SSL certificate valid or not this was uh, as a community made solution basically an external script which was super short super simple to add but it is a lot better to finally see it as official template inside a Zabbix so no need to search like how can I monitor uh, expiration data of uh, my certificates just apply the template uh, which is available out of the box and you're ready to go add support of new metrics by the Zabbix 2 uh, Zabbix agent 2 and uh, a bunch of feature requests like a new item uh, file owner uh, what else uh, file exists or not what else a uh, new attribute in the interface discovery uh, probably this uh, up or, or down not sure like we'll definitely no, not go through all of the feature requests in this video but again you can expect the new items uh, new things that you can monitor out of the box without any customization you can just come here in the roadmap section and check all these feature re requests what you can expect new templates for monitoring of applications services and hardware devices without any more detailed list so again new network devices templates officially supported officially created by the Zabbix integration team that gonna be available out of the box after installation no need to rely on some community things that are pretty often tied with some again third-party scripts and no guarantees that those are gonna work with the new releases plus new integrations for alerting and ITSM services so again uh, the list is growing of uh, ITSM services that are have official uh, plugins and webhooks with a Zabbix and again supported out of the box advanced problem detection so 
basically just one single thing, a new trigger function that will be available for your triggers and which is described in this feature request. So Zabbix trigger function for monotonic items and description. I have several trigger expressions that look for monotonically increasing items. For example, like I monitor applications that perform messaging and when something goes wrong the message queue increases. I also monitor applications that are supposed to read the files from the disk and if the application fails we can tell by counting the files in the directory and checking if they are increasing monotonically. I have several expressions like this so right now there will be no need to create something crazy as this and there will be just one single new um, trigger function monotonic which is going to be basically just true or false. So if you have something similar to this, this will solve your problem. Advanced visualization and reporting. So another data visualization improvements in the Zabbix 6.0 starting with a support of graph annotations. So ability to add some sort of the comments to the graph which again might be useful for your for your team for some your some of your colleagues that are also looking on this graph and want to see some uh, more detailed information about them. Redesign of the monitoring graph so just different um, different design right more user-friendly uh, fixed a problem that uh, host graphs page does not show all the graphs uh, and not indicate this I think only yeah more than 20 graphs doesn't work so that's going to be fixed improve usability of the filter views uh, filter views I believe were added in 5.5 5.0 or 5.2 so if there were some culprits with the usability that's going to be improved advanced host status widget as mentioned previously everything uh, is growing around dashboards and widgets so a new widget for the host status probably just simple um, available or not available data table widget another dashboard attribute that you will be able to add to your dashboards for visualization events over time widget another one new set of widgets for management and capacity planning reports which also sounds uh, pretty interesting like improved and more advanced reporting and statistics like if you want to uh, know more like what this widget will contain and what we can expect you can uh, of course go through these uh, feature requests and read uh, through various comments as examples from Alexi itself. Um, new set of, yeah, and your graphical maps. Uh, maps tied to some sort of location, maybe the Europe, United States, some sort of the cities, which will allow you to much much more easily define like where exactly our branches are located and perhaps some have some links between them that will visualize the current state of uh, those connections. Make monitoring more simple, removing the limitation. Support of loading of Agent 2 plugins at a startup. So I believe we will not be required to recompile this Apex Agent 2 each time we add some new, um, add some new plugins. So those will be loaded at a startup without a need of recompilation. Support of timeout parameters for Zabbix get and the Zabbix sender which is again a great feature previously the timeouts were only available on the agent proxy uh, Java gateway but most likely you want to introduce those also for the Zabbix get and the sender. Uh, more reliable log monitoring by keeping state on the agent side so this is more like internal change how the log monitoring behaves uh, on the Zabbix server or the proxies so this will be more just as it's written more reliable and stable so you will not going to be work not going to have to worry about uh, some uh, false alarms some re-reading of the log and something unexpected new aggregate function count so again if you're utilizing aggregate items you will have a chance to use this function too security related improvements outed log for all user and api operation like this was a painful thing um for quite a long time i don't know if it's one of these ones i think it was the bug report that the outed log does not list all of the operations that are happening inside a zabbix um 
partly this was fixed and uh, most of the operations started to uh, actually be written in the audit log API was still missing so starting with a 6.0 even if you're worried that somebody may do some unwanted stuff in your installation somebody that has a permission through the API everything that will be done to let's say change some sort of configuration or create some new item or host or delete it will be logged inside audit log so you will have a full view what is happening uh, even while you are not watching it password complexity policy for the zabbix user interface previously like uh, the default password was zabbix admin as always and uh, there was no policy you could create it just uh, one two three four five so now the policy going to be introduced and uh, you will have to figure like more complex passwords and it's not going to be really possible anymore to use something that can be absolutely easily hacked which is not a good thing, of course, so that is also a great security improvement. And the last one, improve usability of the save and filter views, which is feature request 6356, um, with description of how it's going to look like in the feature request itself. And then we also have some screenshots. And ability to create a host and metrics from monitoring part of user interface. So you will not have to be a Zabbix admin, at least, or a super admin to actually create um, create a new host in a metric, you'll be able to do that from the monitoring section if you have appropriate uh, permissions. And that's about it. Like those are uh, the list of the features that we can expect in the Zabbix 6.0. LTS long-term support version, which is expected in October-ish 2021. Um, you can see right next to the most of the features which are already in development, so already being uh, created by the Zabbix developers. Some of them are still in design, so it's not yet clear how the functionality gonna look like in the end but the work is already started um yeah so all of these are absolutely great uh features that's gonna make the zabbix 6.0 um amazing release of the zabbix as usually and uh hopefully hopefully soon we're gonna see the alpha release where we can actually do some hands-on on these uh features and then we're probably gonna talk about them uh, closer um, actually looking in the new front end of the Zavix 6.0 so thank you guys for watching hope that this was a bit uh, gave you a bit of value and understanding of what you can expect in the 6.0 and we're gonna see you later so goodbye